The science that I work with is similar to what NASA uses to tell you what's on Mars without ever sending a sample back. The, the, radio, or the, electron, or the frequency, signature frequency of all elements. And they use it, they, their acronym is XRD technology, which is kind of a radionics principle of scalar testing. So behind you, what we have done is we use this as our place for research, our own place so we can compare what other people are doing globally or in the state. They're growing something, we want to grow it, and then we can energetically test and know what the viability of the food is. The state has tons of natural minerals and nutrients to work with, and they don't. They don't understand it. Unfortunately, the higher archy down the southern part of the state is all prostituted out by the chemical industry and there isn't any nice way to put it. It isn't me bashing it, it's the human and animal health, the poor quality of what they produce in their consulting and, and the agriculture. Across the board it's all evident. It's not me picking on them. Their own evidence is, is, is choking them to death. We don't want to be a part of that. I got involved because they, they were very ambitious kind of bunch of people to do something. They weren't guided in the right direction to focus and we need, you know, we all have so many birthdays and I want to make sure that we set more people in place to do what needs to be done to carry this on, to grow with minerals and not just MPK nitrogen fertilizer from the chemical industry. Although right behind you is a demonstration of growing a garden in this first little block here. Mm -hmm. I'll walk over here, I'll show you. Right here, there's a four foot swath from here to the chickens, 70 feet long. July 4th, we put 30 gallons of crude oil on this whole thing, all videoed, documented. Mm -hmm. Every bit of this, and then in set eight days, and we treat it with our, our bacteria and the stuff that I do, environmental cleanups to mm -hmm. just growing, sure. getting the right balance of nutrients and, and biology in the soil. So in doing that, we treated this. And then plant, and, and, and eight days after we treated it, we planted it. Eight days after that, we had the first little pictures were some of the little corn popping up through the ground. So it's about nine, nine weeks, nine to 10 weeks max mm -hmm. right now. Look at it. And this is what it looks like. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now this isn't look at it and it's toxic like all the other farm land that mm -hmm. we're, we're pulling food off with high aquatoxin levels. There's absolutely no aquatoxins in this. Hmm. And the energy level as a, a, as a calibration of trying to understand like a, a truck has horsepower and you hear that word. This, we need to function as humans in the four to 600 range of a vibrational energy field. And this is all sounds Chinese to most people, and, but that's, I don't care. They need, they need to know about it. So this food that you have to eat to be able to maintain that needs to be at a higher order to be able to maintain that level. This is running anywhere from 480 to 530 just on the cycle of digestion of the carbon from that Crude oil. Crude oil is, you know how it, where it comes from? It's, okay. it's Jurassic vegetation, like coal and all the other things. It's more organic than any, any fertilizer that most people ever use hmm. because what's happening is they're taking the chemicals and they extract out high volumes and saturate. Anything in excess is a toxin. This put down in order and breaking down is all is all food and then you and you can look at others um i guess that's a i don't know if that's a watermelon or it's a zucchini there's a big old huge zucchini right here big zucchini there we've got here's some watermelon there's a, there's a pair of them right there in nine weeks grown in this kind of an environment so the demonstration is, is that we know that the, the transformation is going to take place yeah, that's that's nine weeks from when it, when you saw that when crude, crude oil was applied, mm -hmm. not when it was planted. So in doing it, what we're trying to also demonstrate is this facade of having this scary thing about oil spills and all the contamination. They do show 
They will show some kind of somebody holding a little duck, greasy and duck, and trying that. to wash it off with Dawn soap. Okay, I understand that, but it's a short cycle. We're looking at the long term, and with crude oil dropping in price, and we're going to get away from that and use more free energy and things. What are we going to do with coal and oil? What we should be doing with it? It's more valuable to use that energy instead of burning it up in the atmosphere to grow and restore our agriculture and the food that we need to eat because it's the same food that was growing when dinosaurs walked around. And it all sounds kind of, you know, mystical, but at the same time, it's all factual. They live and, and, and were created with vegetation that was totally saturated with <coughs> uh, all kinds of minerals, biology, chemistry, physics, quantum energy fields. And this is, this is just chia, chia seeds as simple as putting chia seeds down and a, a number of other things. There's there's actually a sign back in there that I guess that's one of the oil sites that it was pulled from is on an artesia area. So we named or got a name for each of the oil okay. well rigs. They pulled it off and planted it. So that's the kind of background of what we're trying to, you know, educate, inoculate and, and transform with young people that, and or old or whatever of what we want to do with food. Farming the land, healing the spirit, and healing the heart. Desert Forge.